360 miles north in Fairbanks, the airport is being battered by a brutal snowstorm. It's up to the airfield maintenance team to clear the runways of snow and ice. Keeping Ted Stevens Airport open is tough, but Fairbanks is a whole new level. Yeah, the snow anchorage gets, they got a lot warmer temperatures. It's a heavier, wet snow. They're able to use chemical a lot more often than we are. Our snow here is a lighter, drier snow. It's kind of fluffier, not as much moisture. We're stuck with it for a while. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. It'll be here till April. Airfield maintenance foreman Jason Griswold has worked at Fairbanks Airport for 13 years. 217's off, two left, hold them short. Jason and his crew have 50 minutes to make the runway safe. Otherwise, the Alaska Airlines flight from Anchorage will be forced to turn back. We keep the airport open. I mean, we got six guys, seven guys, eight guys at a time, and we have to be open 24-7. Their fleet of four $1 million state-of-the-art plows and brooms is all that stands in the way of a costly diversion. It's already been snowing for 10 hours. To keep on top of the snow building up, they have to remove 40 tons every 20 minutes. They can't stop until the storm lets up. Snow this morning started out pretty light, and uh, it's still a light snow to broom, but it's coming down a lot quicker, a quick 10 minute hold, and everything's white again. Right now, we've got uh, four runway brooms out. They're maintaining one runway on this side, one runway on the other. Keeping the taxiway open. Keep us here. We got to keep all these surfaces clean. We'll be here 12, 24 hours a day. The brooms start at one end of the runway, driving in formation. Each is responsible for clearing a 20 foot wide strip. Tighten up a little bit. If just one section of ice is left behind, a plane could skid off the runway. It's gotten a lot heavier now. There is potential for closure. There's over 13 million square feet of asphalt to clear. With the rate of snowfall, as soon as they finish one end, they have to start again almost immediately at the other. When you come off at the south, will you make a run down Alpha? Two on center, two on lights, please. Working nonstop for close to 12 hours, and at 20 below, something has to give. I got it. The relentless snow has claimed its first mechanical casualty. One of our hydraulic lines for the broom head controls is busted. Leaking fluid. We gotta get her back, get it fixed. 20 minutes before the Alaska Airlines flight is due to arrive, and one broom down, it's no longer safe to land. The decision to divert back to Anchorage is only minutes away. <laughs> 